Hello everyone. Today is a I'm not getting out of my jammies kind of day. There we go. So Wonder Woman it is today. And I'm here to give you an update on all my stitching. My name is Vicki Stitch and Button. And today is the 21st of September, which means it's Earth, Wind, and Fire Day for the hashtag EWF Cell. Um, that was put on, I believe, by the Sunshine Stitchers, EJ and Shelia, and I'm going to participate in that tonight. I have, I'll show you what I'm going to stitch for that. This is floss tube number 116, and it's a Wednesday night, and I was getting ready to stitch, and I was like, oh no, my video. Let me pull out all my stuff, and then I started pulling out stuff thinking, I don't have a lot. I lied. I had three finishes. Two are staff starts and finishes, and um, one was, I think, my last video. I said I was going to finish it up, and I did, so let's get to it. Let's start with the finishes. We'll start with the end, right? I finished Miss Piggy. This is Ma uh, from Fiddlesticks AU on Etsy, and I can link it below. I also have Kermit, which I will show you in just a moment. Once I realized it was just, the whole entire thing is about 3,000 stitches, I knew I had to get this as a finish. And it was an easy stitch. really was. Gunner's thirsty. Haven't heard that for a while, huh? <laughs> anyway, this fabric is 28 count Monaco and Stitch and May, Megan, uh, dyed this for me because I needed Miss Piggy Pink so I didn't have to stitch all the pink. So, I'm very grateful for that. My next finish is from, it's the Quirky Quakers from Darling and Whimsy. Mine is Hedgehog. And that's my little guy. I wanted to do some quick stitches, which I know I said I wanted to do for next year, which I still want to do. But I decided to do some of them this year. This is on a scrap piece of 40 count mystery linen. I was like, oh, it'll be quick and easy stitch, but let me put it on 40 count. Let me torture myself. It's fine. It still went, it went a little bit slower than if it wasn't on 40 count because the weave was a little bit tighter, but it's fine. And I think he's really cute. So now I need to finish him. This chart was a gift from J Long, my friend J Long. And, uh, I think he's just adorable. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish him. But you know my FFOing is lacking anyway. So it'll get done eventually. Another SAF was this one. This is Boo from <sighs> Prairie Schooler. This was one of the freebie cards when you can get the... You, you can now buy the freebie cards as a re-release. And it's a just... I don't know how they've decided to pack them, but it's not in any theme. You can get Christmas and they have them like A, B, C, D, but I don't know which ones are in each individual pack. I had bought a couple of them and I had finished this one, grabbed this little ghost, start and finished him. I started him one night, finished him the next day. I did the same with the, uh, with the hedgehog and I didn't put the border. There's a border that went around. I didn't put that and I didn't put these little stars in there because I thought this was enough. This is stitched on 35 count. I believe it's 35 count. It's from Dames of the Needle in Witch's Brew. I think it's Witch's Brew without the blue or without the black or something like that. And it was a scra scrap piece that I thought was going to be perfect. So I have at least one more spot I can stitch one on and I have them in this little bag. It's a Garon tote bag, small that um, Laurel, Laurel Ann on floss tube had given me. And I'm gonna do this one next. I think that's the, the one I'm gonna do on the bottom because I have a few of them and this one will fit. So I think that's the next one I'll do. And that's just in uh, 3371 DMC. Most of them are the same colors. So that'll be the next one. I don't know when I'm going to start it, but it'll it'll be there. That's the plans. Uh, next. All right. So what else did I stitch on? 
I showed you Miss Piggy. I have Kermie. And I'm also... I also have Beaker. But Megan's going to uh, dye me fabric for Beaker. He's more of a skin tone color, a flesh tone color. So here is all of 136 stitches I did on Kermit. I'll have to insert his picture here. Although, if I don't, for some reason, it's in last week's. And he also is just about 3,000 stitches total. So he should be a quick fix. I mean a finish. Oh, not real quick. Not as quick as those little ones, but quicker. I'm not done stitching on him. That's why he's still in the Q-snap. I wanted to participate in the Earth, Wind, and Fire sale, so I put him aside for tonight, and I'll pick him up probably again tomorrow. But all I did was finish out the black here, and then did some of the white, because I want to finish this eyeball, move over to the other one, and then move down to the words, and then his collar. All right, so he's going over here to be stitched on for tomorrow. Next. I stitched on 272 words. This is from Prim Wor Primrose Needleworks. It's the Gettysburg Address. And it's big. I ended up grabbing a 32 count Lugana from Be Stitch Me in the color Vanilla Latte and needed a half yard which was gifted to me for my birthday from Belinda Aussie Stitcher. And this is where I've gotten to so far. The page stops here, I think like here and there. So that's the first page. I ended up putting in, I think these words here since the last time I showed it, this line and that star. So I don't know if I'll stitch on it more this month, this might be it for the month for now. I ended up putting in, for a total this month, I put in 459 stitches in two sessions. I am using the called for except for the words. I'm using the MC because it's a lot of, it's a lot of skeins. I think it's like eight skeins he needed. And there wasn't a lot of modeling in the thread anyway so dmc's doing just as well so that's probably done for the month next i also worked on let me put this over here october 31st this is from cottage garden they just released one it's a beaver and i'm definitely getting it anyway this is uh being stitched on 32 count diversity from Mystic Fabrics on a Lugana. And I'm using the DMC, except for the gray, I'm using Banker's Gray from General Arts. I did 600 stitches total. And that's how far I got. Basically, the only thing that I had in here when I started was this star and some of the vines. And I finished off the vines here, put in this star, did that vine down there, put in the October 31st, the little star things, and started the bird. Look how cute that needle minder is. I forget who, her name, and if you see my wrap up from Stitch West, I'd mention her there, but I had bought them when I was at, I bought this one and um, Ralphie in his, uh, in his bunny pajamas. I bought them at uh, Stitch West. All right, so that's that. But wait, there's more. Okay. I also ended up putting in all of another 104 stitches in this Anne Holt Castle piece. It's in sepia tones from Artisy. I got it as a freebie when they released it on their website as a freebie. It's no longer a freebie, but it's still available to purchase. And I'm stitching it on 18 count Ada. I think it's just white Ada or slightly off white. And I'm using the called for DMC. I think there's only 22 colors total. And here is where I got to. 
that's it. I don't even remember what I did. Honestly, I did something in here. I think it was one of these beiges in here. So it wasn't much, but I got a little bit more done and every stitch counts. I think I plan, it's still on the Q-snap, so I was planning on stitching more of it this month. I just don't know that I'm gonna, honestly, I don't think it's, I'm gonna take it off the Q-snap. Let's take it off the Q-snap. And let's see, in case you're wondering, I know a lot of people have mentioned these. These are available from Amazon. I just, you just order, I uh, looked up silicone cable ties. There's two different sizes. And I think I've explained them before in a previous video. But they're really good for when you have a lot of extra fabric and just need to get it out of your way. All right. So we're gonna fold this one up and then we're gonna get into, that's all I've stitched over the past two weeks, which isn't horrible. I'm not, I'm not disappointed because I finished sewing bags, this batch of bags, which means I'll be cutting out the bags for my 12 days of Christmas box, which I still have some of those available if you're interested. It's on the uh, Facebook group. And if for some reason you don't want to be on Facebook, just contact me my contact information is down below so I'll be starting to cut out all the fabric for those for that box let's see plans I've got plans and just one piece of haul I received my fabric of the month from grace notes fabrics a little thank you note and I got pizza queen this time find some place to put that I'm I can fit it on my on my tablet where I've been putting I've been putting them on my tablet case and this is what it is it's called accent it's a peach color which I'm looking at it going that might work for for beaker but I'll wait and see what um it's a little bit darker than that it reminds me of a creamsicle actually like a peach more of a peach tone creamsicle though let me see it's about as close as I'm getting to the real color. But I do like it. Uh, put this over here. Okay. That's the only thing I... Ow! No, I lie. I do have another purchase. And that's part of plans, by the way. I bought the Haunted Library sale. I had been eyeing it up. And I really liked the initial staircase part because who doesn't like a little skeleton cat right and then it came out with this little phantom and I thought oh she's that's good that's not and then this guy and I'm like I, I gotta do it the flying books he's sitting there just reading away so I bought it and then they added Edgar Allan Poe yes please yes well they added the arches and then Edgar Allan Poe so I had to buy it I kitted it up I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to start it. I might start in November now. I'm not quite sure. I don't think I'm going to. I don't know what I'm stuck. Look. I just know I wanted it and I wanted to start it. How about that? I just don't know exactly when. Um, I had to look up the fabric. I chose Shrekies Tan. It's going to be on 32 count Shrekies Tan from Needle Bling Designs. got a little green tint to it more than what's green never shows up you guys never it's so hard to show anything that's good but it's it's a brown with a green tint to it and I think that's gonna work pretty well here are the colors I'm using the call for DMC I still have a couple I have to buy I put them on the uh, flush drops that I've gotten from friends and some that I had made with tarot cards which I have for sale in my shop I have others that have random tarot cards on them if you're interested. But I think it's gonna look good. Let's see. I think that's gonna work. So this is by Lola Crow on Etsy. She still has it available. 
and it's not a bad price for a sale with a bunch of parts. I didn't think it was bad. I think it was like $16, if I remember correctly. Okay, guys. All right, you know what I'm doing? It'll lay in there open. I just don't feel like dealing with it. So this will be started. It might be started by the end of the month. We'll see. You'll find out in a couple weeks. If not, then I'll, I might start in November. And I put it, I don't know if I have any of these bags left. I might have one bag left. It's in this saloon bag that I made, the skeleton saloon bag. Oh, I love this. All right. Then, I also, I might have mentioned, I have had this chart for a while. It's fried green tomatoes. And it's by Great Big Grass. Or... Yeah, that's what they're called. So, this is what it looks like. But, I am putting both of them together. I'm going to put the house, I'm the house, well, technically. It, so, I'm going to put the cafe at the top with the recipe underneath it. I made my working copy today. I need to pull the threads for it. And I'm going to put it on this Morning Glory from Fortnite Fabrics, and I think, I think this was a Fabric of the Month, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but I think it was a Fabric of the Month. So it's going to go on there, and again, this is another one. I'm not sure when I'm going to start it, but it might be on my birth for my birthday month. I might have some starts for my birthday month, and this might be one of them. So I just need to pull the DMC for it now. And I made a list of what's called for so I can pull them. All right, more plans. I think I mentioned this before. Dark Queen of the Earth was released from Autumn Lane Stitchery. I received my fabric. I, uh, and I don't remember if I showed this, so this is why you're seeing it. I chose Nightshade, which is the green with the brown modeling. That's not bad. It's not bad showing up and I pulled the threads and I think I now have all the thread colors I needed and I went to buy I should have done it when I bought this but I didn't I went to buy the specialty threads it's called for did anybody have them no so I ended up putting in an order with Leslie because she has them back ordered um, I ended up putting in the order and I know I'm going to have to wait for him, but she had a sale, so I bought a chart, and you'll see when it comes in. I just told her to hold the chart until the threads come in. All right. Last but not least, I am going to stitch on this tonight. This is for my Earth, Wind, and Fire. It is Scotty, a a.k.a. Stadium, because for some reason when I first started the typer name, it always came up as Stadium, because autocorrect. From Charting Creations. I figure because the wind is blowing, and this is a lot of earth right here, that's what I'm going to uh, put for my earth, wind, and fire sale. So I'll be putting in probably a good 300 stitches. Now, I did make a decision the last time I was looking through some of my uh, full coverage. Where that line is, I think that's going to go. I think I'm only going to stitch from there on up. It saves some stitches. Because I don't really need all that. I'm good. And I am starting her. Here's what she looks like now. And I got the thread. I just haven't started with it yet. And I'm still up in this little mountain area. So there's a whole bunch of blue. And I'm debating on whether I want to work my way down. And keep in all this blue and blues and grays. Or if I want to start working my way over and get some oranges and reds in there. Not sure. We'll see. I'm so indecisive. I just finished a whole bunch of bags, which if uh, you're on Facebook or Instagram, you should have seen by now if you follow me. If not, I'd love to see you follow me, either uh, join the group or follow me on Instagram, Stitch and Button Crafts. Uh, there's, there's a lot of Halloween bags and some other not Halloween bags. 
I also put made some trays and I got a new product in that I want to I want to um, make something with so that should be new coming out soon no promises I don't, I don't want to say in the next couple of days but I think by the time my next video comes up I should have some made we'll see all right I have some stitching to do and uh Oh, that's another thing. There's a new group. Uh, it's Harvest Stitchers. You can look it up on Facebook. It's uh, loosely based. Well, I want to say loosely, but not. It's pretty much like a Farmville type thing or whatever those little farming apps are. Uh, the games that they have out there. So you you till your plots and you're building a barn and digging a well. And, you know, you're going to have chicken coops and stuff. So if you're interested, go ahead and give a look uh, on Facebook for that group and join us. You can have up to 10 team members on your team. I think that's about it. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything. I don't think so. I didn't write any more notes. So we're going to go ahead and sign off. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm very comfy in my jammies. Thank you. And I'm going to go start stitching. Don't forget... Don't let anyone steal your sunshine.